Good everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we'll be doing bisection of angles where we'll be using our set square as basics. Now this is the 45 degree set square. Why are we calling it 45 degree? Because all its inclined axes are 45 degree. Now if you stand it this way on your T-square, let me assume this is my T-square here, right? If I put it this direction here, it means that if I draw a line, the line will be inclined at 45 degree, either in this direction or in this direction, right? And similarly, if it is standing in this way also, the inclined axis here is what? Is 45 degree. Why you know, you don't have to be told that when you see a line that is as perpendicular, two lines being perpendicular to each other, they are at what? 90 degree. So this side is what? is 90 degree right now similarly this is what we call our what for um, 60 degree and 30 degree set square it is it has two different degree which is on 30 and on 60 when it's standing tall this way the inclined axis here is 60 right why well, you know this is 90 because it's just vertical now when it's sitting like Standing small, the inclined axis here is what is 30. So the longer side is 30 when it's sitting, and the longer side is 60 when it is standing. Right? Remember what I said, the longer side. This is longer side, 60 when it is standing, and the longer side is 30 when it is sitting. Is that okay? This side is not the longer side. So this is shorter right so the longer side is 30 when it is sitting and the longer side is what 60 when it is standing right i did not mention make mention of this side because this side here is 60 degree or so so i already said the longer side now we'll move and see how it goes we'll start by drawing the special angles because the special angles are angles at which all other angles are built upon right so we start with what? Angle 90 degree. Now first thing, you use your T-square and you draw your horizontal line. So the line that we'll be using, the horizontal line we'll be using in this part of the lecture will be distance of what? 40 degree, right? Now, I will take my meter rule or I'll see my T-square and I'll place it on my drawing board. I'm using my meter rule to represent my T-square. Now I'm going to use it to draw an horizontal line this way. I'll draw an horizontal line, right? In doing that, I've drawn my faint line, which is what? Now I will not pick a point on that faint line. Let's say this point here, right? I'll say here should be my point A. And I'll now measure 40 millimeter. You can use any distance of your choice, but for the benefit of this lecture, I'm only using 40 millimeter. Now, if I place my meter rule, the beginning of the point here, this is zero, right? So from zero to one is 10, from zero to two is 20, from zero to three is 30, from zero to four is 40, right? So this is 40. Now I'm going to what? I'm going to what? Thicken it. So thickening it, I'll say this point it ends is what? Point B. Now I want to draw 90 degree. What I will use is, if this is my T-square that is positioned on my drawing board, right? What I'm going to do is, I will take any of the, the set square, right? Either this, if it's standing here, this part is 90 degree, right? This part is what? Is 90 degree. Then I will move it to point A, right? At that point A. I'm going to draw my line vertical to so this line you see is 90 degree so I've successfully drawn my line 90 degree it is 90 degree because it is perpendicular to it right and that is my 90 degree now similarly if I want to draw 45 I want to bisect forget 45 you have to bisect 90 but we are told to use our set square and t squared basis. The only thing you have to bisect is when these two materials here cannot be used to 
draw that angle so let's try that of what 45 now if i should take my c square my t square right i'll do the same thing repeat the same thing i did earlier i'll draw an horizontal line this way right and i'll pick a point let's say this point i pick is also my point a and i'll measure 40 millimeter so from 1 to 4 is 40 after doing that this is my point b and i'm going to thicken it so in thickening it will be this right this is a b and i want to draw 45 so what i'll do is as my t square is standing this way i'm going to take the 45 degrees c square which is this right so I'll place it on my T square. So in placing my T square, I will now move it to the point I want to draw the angle. Now this is it here, right? So I will just move from here. I'll draw. So this is my angle what? Angle 45. So this angle is inclined at an angle 45 degree, which I can just show with the help of what? My compass. If I place it here, I'll draw an arc this way. Then I'm going to show that this point to this point here is what is 45 degree. Right? So this horizontal axis is always zero degree. Don't forget that here is zero degree. So from zero to this point is what 45. From zero to this point is what 90. We are going anti-clockwise. Now the next thing we want to do is to draw the next angle which is angle 22 and a half, right? Because if you bisect 90, you have 45 degree. If you bisect 45 degree, you have 22 and a half. Bisection means you are dividing something into two, right? Two equal parts. So we want to do that of what? Um, 45 degree, 22 and a half. So what I'm going to do here, I'll try to replace it at this point here so i will zoom i already have my vertical my horizontal line and i'll pick a point let me see this point here so i'll call that point point a right and i'll measure 40 from that point from here to here is 40 so this is 40 here right and then i'm going to thicken it so this is a b now I want to draw 22 and a half. So I know if I should divide 45 over 2, I'll be having 22 and a half, right? So I'm going to use my 45 degrees square square. I'll move it to that point, which is A. And I'm going to draw a faint line because I don't need 45. So this faint line here is what is 45, right? But I don't really need it. And I cannot draw 22 and a half with any of my word, my set square here. So the next thing I will just do is to use my compass. And I'll place it at this point of A. Right? And I will draw an arc at any given radius. So I'll cut it this way. You can see that? So with the same distance, I'll place it at this point. Or if I like, I extend it. So let me extend it a little bit. So I've extended it. I'll place it at this point. I will strike an arc. I also place at this point here. I will strike another arc. So where it meets, where the line meets at this point here, the point of intersection, I will draw a line from point A to pass through that point of intersection. So since it's 22 and a half, I'm going to take it. So the angle between here and here is what 22 and a half right that is the angle so i take in this because that is what i need i don't need 45 so it means that from this inclined from this horizontal ground here is what zero degree here is 22 and a half and here is what 45 but well, this is what exactly i need now the next thing i want to do if you divide 22 and a half you are going to be having um 11.25 right that is 11 3 quarter so what i'll do is this if i want to draw that i'll have to bisect here also right so let's just do that 
So if I should use my C, my T square to draw an horizontal line this way, right? I'll pick a point. Let's say this is a point, point A. Then I will measure 40, like I said earlier. So this is 40 millimeter, right? And this is AB. Now what I'll do is this. If I set my C square this way, right? And I will take my 45 degrees C square. I'll place it here this way. I will draw an inclined line. I don't need it, right? So then I'll buy 45 to get 22 and a half. So if I bisect it this way, I'll place it at this point. I'll check an arc. Place it at this point. I'll check another arc. So where they meet, should go through the center here. Faint line, right? Now this is zero, and this is what 22 and a half. And this is what 45, right? Now I don't need 22 and a half, so if I bisect 22 and a half, I'm going to get 11 quarter, right? That is 11.25. So I'm going to bisect 11.25. So what I would just need to do is to use these two points here, which is this point and this point. So if I place my compass at that point, I will strike an arc. I'll place it at this point also, I'll strike an arc. So where they meet, where those two points meet, if you look at it very well at that point, let me take it up. At this point here, it will pass through that center. So this is what we call my 22 and here, yeah, so the angle between here and here is what 11 3 quarter, right? So from here, this is 0, this is 11 3 quarter, that is 11.25, 22 and a half, then 45, right? So this is what we call bisection of angle. So what we just did, we just bisected angle 90 degree. So from 90, we bisect it into 2, it gives us 45. From 45, we bisected it into 2, it gave us 22 and a half. From 22 and a half, we bisected it into 2, it gave us 11.25, 11 3 quarter. So if I keep on bisecting, I'll be getting smaller angle, right? Now, let's try that off, 60 degree. Now, we assume that this is our um, T square, like I said earlier. And I am going to draw my horizontal line this way. I see that and I'll pick a point. You see this point that we we'll pick is point A and I'll measure 40 as usual. You can use any measurement of your choice. So for me to is 40 and I'm going to thicken it. So from here thicken it. This is A B right and if I want to draw 60 now, when you are talking about 60, 30, 15, and so on, you don't need this. You don't need the 45 degree, you put it aside. So you are going to use this. This is for 60, 30, and so on. So I'm going to move it to that point, ensuring my T-square is well placed. So if I place it this way, it will go in the other direction. So what do I have to do? I have to turn it the other way around, right? So in turning it the other way around, I'll be having this. I'll be having this. All right? So I'm going to move it to that point of A. So it's facing the left now. So if you get to that point A, so once I place my root over there, so this is what? Angle what? Angle 60 degree. Right, when it's inclined to that point, it's angle 60. Now you can draw angle 60 facing this direction, right? And you can also draw angle 60 facing this direction, which I will explain to you as we move ahead. So the angle between here, here, and here is given as what? 60 degree. This is what 60 
degree right so that means if the horizontal grey is zero degree from here to this point is what 60 degree now let's see if we go the next one to be 30 so if I bisect 60 I'm going to be having 30 so let me do that here so if I place my rule my set square this way I'm going to draw the horizontal line this way right I'll pick a point let me see I pick here that will be my point A and if I measure 40 from that point A to this point B right so this is my point B right so from here we'll move and placing my C square this way my T square this way I'm going to move this I told you earlier that when it is turned in this direction it is um, 60 right the longer part is 60 but when it's standing straight but when it's sitting this way the longer side is what 30 so I move here to this point where I am going to draw my angle 30 degree so from here to this point this is angle what angle 30 so the angle between here and here is 30 degree hope you see that so from here I'll just draw my at any given radius yeah, any given radius you just draw an arc connecting this two points together so you see this is what 30 degree right now the same thing if I bisect 30 I'll get what is called 15 degree so let me do that here so let me assume that this point here is my point A and I'll measure 40 from point A right measure 40 from point A so from here to here is 40 so I'll take in it so this is my point B right so if I want to draw that what I'm going to use is the closest guide to it which is what which is 30 so if I place it this way this is 30 degree right so I'll just draw it but I will not take it because that is not what I'm looking for so I'll just draw it as in form of what a faint line now if I bisect the faint line this is 30 now from there, from here to here is 30 right so if I bisect 30 at any given radius maybe 10 millimeter I'll place my the tip of my compass here and I'll strike an arc cutting these two lines so if I like I extend it if I like I leave it the same way so if I leave it the same way if I place it at this point here where it, where it cuts the horizontal line the inclined line I'll have I'll draw an arc with the same radius I'll place it here I'm going to draw another arc so where they meet they are meeting at this point right this shows that what I have bisected it so I will now draw my other line which is angle 15 degree so this is 15 degree right so the angle between here and here is what 15 degree right now if I want to draw seven you will do the same thing pick a point in this line this is point A now you measure 40 millimeter which will be somewhere around here right and I'll thicken it so the end of that line is B and if I want the half of 15 which is seven and a half what will I do I will move my C square or my T square to that point then I'm going to draw a front line this way so that line you see is 30 and if I bisect 30 from this point this way I'll place it here strike an arc I'll place it here strike an arc I am going to get 15 so now I'm not taking 15 because it's not 15 I'm looking for I'm looking for the half of what or 15 so I'll just strike this this way this is 15 
right now if i bisect 15 using just these two because this is where 15 is i will bisect here place it here i might extend if i want to or use the same measurement we'll strike an arc this at this point i'll strike another arc so where they meet they meet at this point here so i'll draw my line that will go through it all right so in bisecting it, I'm going to have this. So this is my seven and a half. So the angle between here and here is what? Seven and a half. That is seven and a half. And you can keep it on that way. And when you bisect seven and a half, again, you bisect this two point, you'll be having an angle here which is called what? Three, three quarter. Right? And so on and so forth. If you found this video helpful, Please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and you like the video. Thanks for watching.